Hey, what's up you guys? The Curious Owl here, and today I have my March TBR. managed to squeeze the last books I needed to in February in at the end of the month. I didn't finish them, but I did at least start them. So we did just barely manage to get the Wheel of D21 for the month of February. So that means I get to go down to three spins in the month for that. I've also got a lot of stuff in terms of readathons going on and things I'm participating in. But without further ado, let's just get right into the Wheel of D20 stuff so that we can roll through this TBR fairly quickly. Okay, so we are here for our rolls. So for the first one, we had a young adult pick, or um, not, excuse me, not young adult yet, a 2023 release pick. So I've got Melt With You by Jennifer Dugan. I read um, another book by Jennifer Dugan. I can't remember what the name of it was, but I absolutely loved it. Verona Comics. I think that's what it's called, Verona Comics. Um, absolutely loved it. Saw this one came out last year, wanted to get my hands on it. Um, Really the only reason it's on the left side, therefore the lower rolls, is because the other book I have is a lot shorter than it, uh, which is You're Not Supposed to Die Tonight by Kaylin Bayron. Loved Cinderella is Not Dead by Kaylin. Really wants to read this very first foray of hers into horror. So let's go ahead and see what we end up getting. And that is a 16. So that means we're going to do You're Not Supposed to Die Tonight for the 2023 release. Now for the young adult read, they're kind of on like a year's self-destruct TBR, if you will. Um, first I have Iron King by Julie Kagawa. I've had this for a long time. have only really read one Julie Kagawa book, which was Talon. And I liked it, but I don't really know much if like I would continue reading her as an author. And I just figured that if I don't read this by the end of the year, I'm just going to give it up and maybe read it another time, like through the library or something. Then I have A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. And of course my battery is going to die here, so I'll be quick about this. But short, easy to fly through. Let's see what we end up getting. A natural one, of course. So we're going to end up reading The Iron King. Let's see how that goes. Okay, and so finally, the last thing is a friend pick. So I had my friend Adri from Adriology pick out a couple things. Um, I had her basically give me, she gave me two options, but I decided to go with one and then decided that I would do kind of like a random draw for the other side. That would be for me. So the one she ended up going with or one of the ones she ended up showing me was Angelica Frankenstein Makes Her Match by Sally Thorne. Now, I absolutely loved The Hating Game by Sally Thorne. This, though, is kind of more of, it looks like maybe a historical romance of some kind, but I loved Sally Thorne's writing. I think I would really enjoy it, so let's see if we end up getting that or just a random draw from my TBR. And we got an eight, so that does mean I will have to do a random draw from my TBR, which has been extensively added on to with free Kindle books that I've gotten over the last couple of weeks. So we're just going to have to see. So I decided to make this a little bit easier on myself because I've bought a lot of things since, well, I say bought, I got a lot of free Kindle books in the last month of February. So when I had my library spreadsheet completed in January, I was at 3,496. I'm going to assume I'm somewhere in the 3600 range of books physically and ebook. So, and also audiobook that I have through like Audible or something like that. So, we're going to just base it off of that. So, let's see what we end up getting. If we get something above 3496, I'm going to just look at the recent books I've purchased from like Kindle that were free and go off of that. So, let's see what we end up getting. 3,360. Okay, so that's back in my spreadsheet, which that puts me at Kimber White's Mark of the Wolf. Okay. okay, so like I said, we've got three picks. So for the 2023 anticipated release, we have You're Not Supposed to Die Tonight by Kaylin Bayron. For the young adult pick, we have The Iron King by Julie Kagawa. 
And for the friend pick, we ended up going with a random draw because Adriet's pick did not win in the role. So we ended up going with Marked by the Wolf by, what's her name? Kimber White. So I'm gonna go through the month-long readathons first because they take up the majority of the month. So one of the ones that we're doing is uh, going to be doing Greek Godathon that is hosted by Esme over at Paradise of Pages and um, Bookish Buddies is the um, YouTube name. So for this, you have to complete the 12 labor labors of Heracles. It's not stated that you have to do them in a particular order in terms of like when you go through the labors, but you definitely should, you know, get them done first before doing any like doing them again with like a different team. I am actually going to be on team Hades for this. So um, there's very specific ones that you have to complete for your team, which is what I'm focusing on. So the first one is slaying the, the Nemean lion, which is to read a book about a hero, which for this I'm going with the Iron King because it does seem like based on the synopsis, the main character is supposed to save the world, the fey world that's in the story. Then for capturing the Serenian Hind, you're to read a fast paced book, which for this I'm going with you're not supposed to die tonight because it's supposed to be really fast paced from what I've heard. For clean the agent stables, this is to pick a book where water is important. And for this I'm going with Bad Things Happened Here by Rebecca Barrow. This this is a murder mystery thriller of sorts and it takes place on an island so it's surrounded by water, it is isolated, it plays a huge role in the establishing of the environment of the story. Next for slaying the Symphalian birds, you are to read a book that is inspired by an element from the periodic table. I went with gold and ended up deciding to go with Golden Sun by Pierce Brown, the second book in the Red Rising Saga. Then for stealing the mares of Diomedes, you are to read a book with animals on the cover. For this, I'm going with God Killer, which is Brandy's book club pick for the month of uh, March for her membership group. So I figured I'd kill two birds with one stone and get this one read in the month, um, as well as reading her book club pick this month. And finally, for obtaining the girdle of Hippolyta, you are to read a book with a journey. And I did decide to continue a series that I did not think I was going to try to continue this year, but I decided that I would at least get the next book done because it's a lot shorter than the rest of the books in the series. That is The Path of Daggers by Robert Jordan. This is book eight in the Wheel of Time series. Book seven left me a little kind of unsure of whether or not I wanted to continue, but I will say that this book is, again, significantly shorter than the rest of the books in the series. It is clocking in at not quite 600 pages total. It looks to be about 575 so I probably could get through this a lot faster than I did A Crown of Swords and I did hear that there are some books that kind of pick up more than others and this was supposedly one of the books that maybe picks up a little bit more so we'll see. I'm at least going to try to get through more than one book in this series this year if I can if not compl completely finish the series but if I don't finish it by the end of the year I'm going to just give up on the series as a whole if I don't read all of it. Okay, moving along, we've got also Realmathon that I am participating in. I'm going to be with the House of Shadows at Drusidium Academy. Now for this, really the big thing is if the book fits any of the prompts that I am able to do, whether it's all positive or all negative points, I'm going to just basically read what I can, figure out what fits the prompts and do that. But I do get bonus points if I have books that either have black mostly on the cover or a building on the cover and that also take place at a school. So there's that. I'm also going to be participating in Spring into Readathon, which I do believe takes over the entire month of March as well. And it's part of Seasonathon, and there is a bingo board that I have printed out, which again, this one, I'm just going to see what I read. If it fits anything, I crossed off the board, that kind of thing. So it's going to be pretty easy. Then at the end of the month, we have Ostara Readathon that is hosted by Yarn Reader with Witchathon. Um, it is a week-long readathon dedicated to the Ostara season, which I do also have my Ostara uh, wax melts and candles available on sale for everyone if you would like to get some good energies going into the Easter holiday. Um, in th it's all listed in the description for you guys. But for this, there are four prompts that are reading wise I need to complete. The first one is to read a book with either rabbits or eggs on the cover. And the one I decided to pick is an ebook that I have and it's called Bed and Breakfast and Murder by Patty Larson. This is a cozy mystery is all I can really tell of it. But if you zoom in real close, you can see there's an egg on the little little palette that the main character is holding on the cover. It was really hard for me honestly to find a book that had either rabbits or eggs on the cover because apparently I don't have a lot of books that have those things. <laughs> Next we have a book that either has green on the cover or in the title and for this I'm going with You're Not Supposed to Die Tonight because the main character here has green on her shirt. 
Next we have a book that has a strong character. For this I'm going with Blood of Elves by Andrzej Sapkowski. This is the Witcher book that we are reading for the month of March for my Witcher read along and Geralt is like one of the most badass characters I've ever read of so he definitely fits that kind of strong character vibe. Then finally for a book with plants on the cover or in the title I decided to go with Starling House by Alexi e. Harrow. I do believe there are some flowers that are on there so that works like they're a little like they look like maybe buttercups or something like that. Um, so I also am doing this though for a book club that I am participating in that is with a friend of mine from back home um, and my sister and mom are going to also be reading this so we tend to we're trying to read more books together this year um, and this was the one that was picked for the month of March for this book club that a friend of ours was hosting. Okay let's get into the book clubs and stuff that I've got going on this month as well. So like I said for the buddy read with my mom and my sister we're doing the Starling House for Brandy's book club, we've got God Killer. And for my Witcher read along, we've got Blood of Elves as our book, which the live show for this is going to be at the beginning of April. It's going to be the first weekend of April, which is going to be April 6th at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we've got the Witchathon year long readathon long that they are doing. That's kind of like a book club of sorts. For this month, we've got either a book that has agricultural goods on the cover or title or has a battle scene which for this I'm going with Blood of Elves because there's a lot of fighting that goes on in this with Geralt hunting down different types of monsters and creatures and things like that. Finally the last book that I need to talk about or at least the last thing I need to talk about in this is the LDL year-long read-along that is being done for Magical Readathon. This month the prompt is to read a book from an intimidating series and for this I did go with The Path of Daggers because this is an intimidating series for me. I feel like half the time either I'm really liking the books or I'm not and so I find that to be kind of intimidating with the ups and downs that I'm experiencing with these books. And with that this is the stack I have. The exceptions that I don't have here are God Killer, Starling House, and I have the ebook for Bed and Breakfast and Murder. So Basically, it's overall not a bad stack. I think if you were to add the other books on here, it'd be obviously a little bit bigger, but I think this is a pretty manageable stack. I just am currently at the very beginning of the month in the middle of four books because I tried my hardest to get my books started I needed to for Wheel of D20 at the very end of the month, and I managed it, but I'm, now I'm in the middle of four books, so <laughs> it is what it is. But um, hope you guys are excited for this month. I am going to try to get myself back in the gear of actually posting again and stuff like that. Um, as you guys may know, my mental health has not been the greatest in the last couple of months, but I'm really trying to get back in the swing of things, um, which does include also my reading. Hope you guys still have a great month. If you're participating in any of the readathons or anything that I'm participating in, let me know and let me know what you're planning on reading in those. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for joining me in this video. If you guys did enjoy it, please do give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already and you'd like to be and would like to see more content, like this, go ahead and hit that button down below and subscribe to become an owl at Narflock, and I will see all of you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.